Let us take a few example. Examples and understand some different transactions. <clears throat> Goods distributed as free samples. Say Messrs XYZ purchased goods worth 50,000 from Arun on 1st January, first transaction. On 10th January, 5,000 of these goods were distributed as free samples being part of an advertising campaign to second transaction. On 31st January, 10,000 of these goods were given to workers as part of wages. Third, on the same day, the remaining goods were sold for 50,000 and check received four. So there are four transactions. First goods are purchased. Some of it is used as free sample. Some of it is used and given to workers as wages. And fourth, they are sold. How would we record all these four transactions? First, goods are purchased. What is the entry? From Arun, we'll assume they are credit purchases. So what is the entry? These are entries in the books of Messrs XYZ. So in Messrs XYZ, for purchase of goods, the first entry would be Purchases account debit to Arun. How much? 50,000. Purchases account debit to Arun, 50,000. I hope the entry is clear. We have done this several times. Purchases, purchase of goods is called purchases. It's an expense or purchase is debited to Arun because we now there is a liability. Arun is a liability. The business owes money to Arun. <coughs> Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Arun is the giver. We have credited Arun's account for 50,000. Now think. On 10th January, 5,000 of these goods are distributed as free sample being part of an advertising campaign. This is actually advertisement expense. So what would be the accounts which are involved in this particular case? Goods are distributed. So basically, if you think about it, the accounts involved should be advertising. It's an expenditure because goods are being given for advertising and goods on the other hand but again we don't have goods account goods account is represented by purchases account so what is the entry for this we say advertising there is an increase in the expense of advertising therefore debit advertising and credit purchases because the purchase expense has come down these goods which were purchased are now no longer available for sale they have gone out from purchase. What is purchase? Purchase is those goods which we expect to sell, which we hope to sell and get the benefits in the current year. When goods which are purchased are not going to be used for sales, but are used for something else, then we remove those goods from purchases. Remove those items from purchases. So purchases will come down. Advertisement will go up. Advertisement is an expense. Increase in expense, you debit. Purchases is also an expense, but purchase will decrease, so you credit purchase. So what is our entry? Advertisement, account debit, expense, increase, debit with 5,000. Two. Two purchases. Purchase is an expense. Decrease in an expense. Decrease in an expense, 5,000. Similarly, on 31st Jan, 10,000 of these goods are given to the workers as part of wages. So their wages, wages is our expenditure, but wages account debit to, it's not cash being paid, it's goods. So wages account debit to goods, we don't say goods, we say wages account debit to purchases. So wages account is debited, this is on account of wages as a part of wages. In lieu of wages, so wages account debit 10,000 to purchases. Why purchase is an expense account, but that is coming down by 10,000. Since these goods purchased are not going to be used for sale, it is being given in the form of wages. And finally, goods are sold. You have 35,000 worth of goods left. These are being sold and check was received. Therefore, bank asset goes up, 
bank account debit to to when goods are sold we say to sales we say sales 50000 we don't say purchases now we say sales later on we will put purchase on one side we'll put sales on the other side compare the two and say that we have a profit we have a profit now we have a purchase not of 50000 but of 35000 because 50000 was debited 5000 gone 10000 gone we have purchases now of only 35000 and against that we have sales of 50000 automatically in the books of account we have a profit of 15000 so goods whenever goods which are purchased are used for some other purpose other than that for resale it was meant purchase goods are purchased for selling if they cannot be used for sales we should remove it from the purchase account we should remove it from purchase account so it could be advertisement to purchases it could be wages account debit to purchases it could be charity account debit to purchases it could be drawings account debit to purchases so when goods which are purchased are used for other purposes we debit the other purposes whether it's wages advertisement drawings whatever and credit purchase